What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care as we're going into the haunted towers. But first, these remarkable towers are built around a colossal tree. The original owners had a liking for gardening and exotic plants, which are now growing out of control. Time for mission one, a job for a plumber. The tower's machinery isn't active. My guess is that some ghosts have broken it. We have to get to the Hyro generator running. We have to get the Hyro generator running so we can search for the next Dark Moon piece. Rubbly, 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 rubbly. Our guest is taking us to a new location, Luigi. Aren't you excited? <laughs> He's clearly not. No! Ho ho! How many times are you gonna laugh, Egad? This is getting kinda creepy. Come on, what's your. S Come on, where's your sense of adventure, son? Our work is far from done. We need to get a handle on these ghosts, or who knows how far they'll spread. Now, there's only one way to fix this mess. You restore the dark moon and place it back up in the sky. Did we not go over this in the intro, like episode one? My skip by Periscope has located the next piece somewhere in these haunted towers. They've been abandoning for some. They've been abandoned for some time now, so they're teeming with exotic ghosts and naturally, plants. Good job, me. Really, good job. My reading never gets better. The towers are in bad shape, and the water system seems to be broken. If only we had a plumber around here. You see, the Haunted Towers features a complex water system that houses all the machinery. So the first thing on your to-do list is to check the Hydro Generator. Seems easy enough. Great, there it is. The Hydro Generator, on the right. Oh, and keep an eye out for new types of ghosts. That goes without saying. Good luck, young feller. Now, fun fact, this is the first and only mansion to have a unique opening sequence for every single mission. Aw oh, man, I thought Luigi was so confident then, but apparently not. Oh, he's so expressive. I just want to give him a hug. Anyway. Now, once again, we have plants which we can flash to get some extra moolah if we want to. Well, moolah, I'm getting all cheapy rubber. But first, all oh, praise the money tree. All oh, praise the money tree. If you, actually, yeah, you get rid of the mud and you ex examine it, you get gold bars in mission one. All oh, praise money tree. Also, let's look in here. Well, I found the hydro generator, even though it's literally marked on my map. But okay, let's get some more. Never mind, that's a key. Um, okay. I like how Egad sent us to the mansion without giving us a key to get in. Good job, Egad. Good job. But anyway, now that we're here in the courtyard, we can actually get some more stuff from this tree. Tree. Plant. You know what I mean. And I'm going to ignore everything else because it's just a waste of time, really. We'll come around to it eventually as this game progresses. So, let's take out this... Oops, you noticed me before I... Oh. Well, so much for that, then. So, we need to get this hydro generator working. How on earth do we do that, Egad? See, I knew you were going to call me the moment I walk up to it. I just I know how you work. Hmm, just as I feared. The hydro generator seems to be in good condition, so the water pump must be clogged. Why don't you check on the water supply on the roof? Ciao. Uh, sure, I guess I'd love to, but first... Oh, wait, we want a chest to get more keys. But also... Hey, hey. hey also, whatever happened to... And the little peace signer? Oh, well. Anyway, there is a hidden desk in this room. How would you know? I have no idea, but this is how you get the boo of this mansion. Uh, come here, thank you. Investigated and... A one, and a two, and we love you, bam, ma'am, ma'am, boo, except for you. Who are you supposed to be? I don't understand. But anyway, suck him up, rip out his tongue, 
stop him from ever being able to talk again. What a horrible fate. I personally wouldn't like it. Well, never mind. Anything else? Whoops, wrong one. There you are. I can, I can see you're right there. Okay. He also attacks with spirit balls in case you're wondering. Makes things invisible. Where, where is he? There you go. I always see. I also really hate the sound effect when he's caught. He's like, hey, hey, and it happens every two seconds because you always accidentally find him anyway. It's annoying. B -b 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 -b. Glad to get rid of him. I guess he's more like a football or soccer ball. Maybe that's what he reminds me of. I don't know. He's not ghostly enough. That's what I'm saying. Right. Um, in this room, there is also no. That's somewhere else. Never mind. We want to go through here? Is it already open? No, it's not. Oh, this is one of those things where they need to get the hydro pump thingy working in order to get open through the door to get to the water supply. If you look on your map, though, you can see that we need to get right to the top. I guess there's another part. There is. I can see it literally right... No. Um, consider me slightly lost. Because I am slightly lost. One of the few times spinning doesn't work by just sucking on it. In that case, let's go outside. Well, I guess I'm going to take this time whoops, to investigate the whole place since I expect someone will want me to at least. Otherwise, I'm going to try and work out how to do this myself. See, it's not clear, is it? I don't think it's clear. Although, when you do step on these panels, I do know that you get a little plant thing which you can now aim at with these spike balls. It's a bit of a weird mechanic. You have to be in the right angle and looking at it to actually get the target to be in the right place. It is strange, but that's how that works. Same with over here, though. I need another spiky ball. Hold on. There you go. Shoot that and more money. And that's it. Lovely. Worth my time. Very worth my time. Hmm. Now go to the roof. Make sure the water pump is working. Ciao. Great. I'd love to. But there is no path, I can't go through the door. You're gonna say it's this way? Cause it's not. I am seriously lost right now. Come on game, why are you making this so obscure? Oh, I know why. This is really stupid. So you can't go up through that door. So what you have to do is go to the other tower, go upstairs there, and then you just might notice there's a bridge at the top here that gets across. Is that obvious? Is it obvious there's a bridge here? I don't think it is. In fact, let me even look on the map. Yeah, you can see the bridge there, maybe if you're paying enough attention to it, but... Stupid! Right. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Stupid! Just stupid, 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 dude! Stupid, stupid, stupid! This is stupid. Stupid. Right, so now we're in the other tower. Get ourselves another golden dog bone for an extra life for if we die. And wow. sure, I'll explode these frogs if I can aim correctly. Thank you. And let me back up, please. So, wow, that's the slowest climbing animation I've ever witnessed. Now, we can't make any progress this way because there's no water. But there is a secret door here, which I can tell because of the map. See, that's a good one. You can tell where it is because there's a map indicating there should be something there. Sometimes there's no indication anything should be anywhere and it's annoying. Okay, we've got some greenies to fight in the greenhouse, garden house. Whoops. Give it... Come. come. Mm. You're not there now? Where now did he go? Quite a little prankster, ain't he? Um, come on. Show yourself. Or don't. Um... In that case, I'll just run through. If it makes you feel any better. There we go. I was waiting for you to appear. This one comes with a shovel, which you can't just suck away from him. So you got to wait until either he reveals himself or after he's attacked, he's available, he's vulnerable to be hit. Like so. Ah, I... Mm. I keep missing! If you stun him at any other point, he dodges because he has a shovel to protect himself. Am I ti I'm timing this completely wrong suddenly. Ah, 
There we go. Now, get in here, please. I am very sick of you. Thank you. And that's still not the last of you. Oh, there we go. Now they appear. I'm trying so hard to hit right now. Attack me, you stupid. Thank you. And dodge that one. Oh my god, you delayed your... <laughs> there we go. Wally, I guess Wally's still spinning. Did you do it? Oh, and you just don't have your shovel anymore. And I still can't hit you, apparently. Thank you. Get out of it, please. Thank you. So now we're back to the tower lobby. Kind of a pointless room, really. But, well, I guess it isn't because it's supposed to be for garden stuff, but still. You spin this, you can change the water pressure. This means nothing right now because there is no water, but you can get human hearts beating, blood coming out of the pumps. A little more gruesome than I think they intended, but all right. Now we have a new enemy, the Venus Fly Trap. Oh boy, isn't this one a fun one? As you can imagine, they bite at you, and they will eat you, and they swallow you. But I do like the way they, like, um, the way you escape. I like that, but I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get any of that anytime soon. Actually, I can, because their weakness is this spiky fruit. What you do is you shoot it at them, they eat it, and then they die. It's lovely. Killing real life whilst destroying the dead. With both of them gone, we can now access this lovely chest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I just murdered something. Like literally, they're gone, decimated. They have no corpse. They must be part of the Yumi Bozu. But anyway, that's enough of the plant nursery, which surprisingly has the same name in the English version. Don't know why, but... Whoa! See, now that's just... You know what that is? That's st stupid. Why? You're just slowing me down. I mean, I get it's supposed to be sort of like a prank against Luigi, but there's no other benefit. You're just slowing me down. You're padding it out. You're wasting my time. And I can understand why I really disliked this game when I first started to play it. I found generally that once I was three quarters of the way into this mansion, that's when I started to like get used to the game and enjoy it a little more in that like, I don't know, I just like after this point, because this really annoyed me. The Sky Bridge. Ha! Huh. Also known as the Crow's Nest in the American version, I believe. But you'll see crows are attacking you. And they seem to fly in and out forever and ever and ever. There is no puzzle here, there is no way to stop them. You can probably stun some for some money, but actually no money appears. What you're supposed to do is just time it so that you can get out when they're not around. What sort of puzzle is that? What sort of game design is that to just avoid an endless stream of crows? I'll tell you what kind of game design it is. It's stupid game design. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Anyway, welcome to the laboratories. I'm gonna get a golden mice bar and a slammer at the same time. Because I'm angry and I wanna take my anger out on dead people. Because I'm a lovely person. Ah, uh, another greeny shovel of dum dum. Okay, hold on. You're not a shovel dum dum, so you're fine. You are. Oh, I like it when you do. Oh. I was gonna say, I like it when you just show your face, because that's very helpful to me. There we go. Two for one. Double greenies. All day. Thank you. I shall take your greenie bars as well. I mean, I would say gold bars, but gold apparently isn't a colour in this game. Just green. Just gold green. Okay. You slammers are getting annoying, and I apparently cannot collect those gold bars if you want to. There we go. Thank you. And with that, everything's done in this room at least. Also, you are led to believe there is actually more you can do here. Because, actually, this is only the... Well, I'm stuck now. This is only the, the first floor, or well, I guess technically the second. But anyway, what you want to do 
is you can float up with this thing. This is a new mechanic. Blowing into these float berries allows you to float. And what we want to do, first of all, is I want to come around here to this secret landing. Get some gold bars for my own pleasure. Also, if you want to get rid of these, you suck them in. I quite like that. But there's more to explore. First of all, we can peek through here into the seedling laboratory. <laughs> Lovely. But also, over here? Not over here. Where am I looking? No, wait, it was over here. I see it now. What you're supposed to do is fall down here into this little tunnel bit because here comes our first gem of the place, even though this is our second. This is emerald. A emerald. The, man the gems in this mansion are emeralds, and the first one we're after is by some stairs, which I missed, so I'm gonna go back and get the first one. Hold on. Oh, I hate this sky bridge. Just get out of here. I knew it would hit me. It does every time. Here we go. So back here, you can see there's gem number one underneath the stairs. Also, I swear our hand appeared up the top of that place. But anyway, yes, there's a secret wall path here behind the valve. I thought the staircase I was looking for was on the right tower, but no, it's on the left. Uh. Now with that done, that is the last of the collectibles in this mission at least. Also, do they ever tell you you can blow out this thing? Because otherwise you probably wouldn't be able to tell that you could blow out this thing and float. I don't know, they never even like mention this, this is a thing you can do anyway. They just sort of throw you in a room with them. Whoops, I just dropped that couch onto something. Um, uh, sorry. What's in this room? Curious. I mean, I guess that's one way to take out your anger if you really must. And that just takes us back down here. I think we need another fruit berry to get up to the next bit. Either way, you just need to keep going up. That's the rule anyway. That's what we're after. Just keep on going up. All right, now we're into the lounge. Not much is left of it, unless this whole place was the lounge. I don't know. But now we're up to the water supply. I guess that's not waterable, huh? All right, well, I shall stun all these down crows because they've been giving me enough hassle on the way. And let's just keep on climbing up, shall we? If I can get up, great. So, oh, great, it's bucket head time. This guy wears a bucket on his head. So he's bucket head. If he's gonna... Hello? You should probably... Oh my god. I just want you to attack me so I can attack you, yeah? There we go. Thank you. Thanks for wasting all of my time. Alright, so now, with the water supply done on the way of ghosts, we need to get some water running. So how do we do that? Well, put a bucket in the middle and stand here and you'll notice... Two EGAD things. I expected all four to light up, but hey, that'll work too. So doing that does nothing because the middle ones aren't activated for some reason. Any reason? There are gold bars behind it at least. Um, hmm, nothing, eh? Oh, maybe it's because it's not heavy enough. In that case, let me put it in some goop? Nectar? What is this? It does not look appetizing. I don't want it. Maybe that's what it is. It wants extra weight in the middle for some reason that I can't explain. Yep, there you go. Extra weight makes the middle ones come up. Standing on this makes the outer ones come up. Flash them all. And now we have the water running. Why does it work like that? I have no idea. Why do we get the feeling like I've seen this before and I feel like put ghosts are gonna come out one end? That was for a door. That room is now completely useless. And now we can get to a hot another door. Oh. What do you want, Ega? I'm getting bored. Fantastic job, youngster! The water flow is slowly normalizing. Okay, I'll have you pixel shifted back here in a minute. Ciao. 
I do it. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, yeah! Ah! Huh? Wow! Huh? Oh! Oh! Huh? So, meet a new type of ghost, a gobber. Basically, it's Mr. Lugs from the first game, except now they're normal, they have no names, and they're just another generic enemy. As you can imagine, they spit stuff out at you, it slips you up, and what you want to do is not get stuck too close to it. You want to just keep pulling on it, it doesn't move because it's morbidly obese. And so, we can just continue up and get no go bars out of it because I suck. Now Egad will take us away, right? Oh. Also, what was this guy doing in the water anyway? Oh, good job dealing with that rather rotund ghost. Never heard the word rotund before. I'm bringing you back. Hold on to your hat. I kind of feel like it'd be funnier if, like, oh, yes. Luigi saw it was all, like, blocking up and then got pixel shifted. They're just like, uh-oh, I've done something wrong. But then again, I guess that would mean I'd have to confront him later. But still, it would entertain me, at least, for comedy's sake. With almost 18 minutes into this mission, uh, quite a bit of health lost actually, that's really bad. And treasure being alright, we only get one rank, one star. Oh well, Luigi's alright, he'll just whistle inconspicuously. Let's go. Great work, Luigi. Oh, yeah. Let's see that new ghost. Oh. Uh -huh. We'll show off. Th that's not a new ghost, that's an emerald. That is also an emerald. There we go. 42 W's. It's the gobber. And a new boo. No one cares about the boo, let's be honest. What we do care about is a new upgrade. That's helpful. What have we got? The dark light upgrade. Basically, we get a longer dark light. Thanks this upgrade, the dark light device won't overheat as quickly. Pretty cool, eh? Ah, uh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Well, I'll bet. I'll be even. I've never seen that kind of ghost before. <laughs> even though I'm a god, god, I'm a ghost researcher. I'm a god, and I don't know these things. Right, and good job restoring the water flow. If this whole ghost hunting thing doesn't work out, you may have a future as a plumber. Aww. You'll be happy to know what the haunt that the haunted how the haunted tower's water system is now almost completely functional. I also have news regarding the dark moon piece. But why don't you take a break? You look a little soggy. All right, I guess we will take a bit of a break, at least until tomorrow. So next time, we're gonna take on the pinwheel gate. <sighs> I don't like this mission. You'll understand soon. You'll understand soon enough. For now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care. I'm gonna go drink some milk, and I'll see you in a bit. Gah. These early missions suck. All of them do. Don't like it. <laughs>